There was a bit of confusion during Apple's event when the company unveiled their newest iPhone feature, live photos. Wait, moving pictures, wouldn't those just be videos? Or GIFs? Well, not really. After the event, Matthew, Greg, and I discussed what live photos really are and how they likely won't end up eating through all your phone storage. So the other big major upgrade beyond the technology that they use to implement 3D Touch, which is a, a layer behind the screen of sensors, beyond that they had uh, a big upgrade to the camera. So the camera is now 12 megapixel, uh, upgraded sensor package to uh, reduce noise, uh, even though they increased pixel count, which is always the fear, that's the balance between yeah. the two. Uh, and then uh, they implemented 4K video recording as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so that seems like nice upgrades. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little, a little worrisome when they're introducing 4K and the live photos feature where they're stitching together all these 12, me, 12 megapixel photos is that the iPhones are still 16 gig standard. So when you have, how, how big are those live photo that files going to be? So the live photos feature, here's the way it works. It doesn't actually take a bunch of pictures. Okay. Um, it, it, the iPhone, and a lot of people don't know this, but the way the iPhone shoots a picture is when you raise the phone and shoot a picture by tapping the, the photo button, mm -hmm. it's already been taking pictures. And so it picks the last picture it took right when you press the button. And that's your photo. That's the way it works right now in the iPhone 6. Hmm. It buffers a set of images in its image buffer so that when you press it, you're getting an instant fire. This is why you used to be able to press and hold the button and let go to take a picture, yeah. but you no longer could once iOS, I think, 7 hit or whatever it was, when they started doing this buffering technique. So all they're really doing now is dumping that buffer out to your photo, but then they take the sidecar data, the data that's on the either side of your picture, yeah. and they recompile that into a motion format. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure what that is, I don't have the information, but it's not a bunch of 12 megapixel pictures. It's one 12 megapixel picture, and then approximately the equivalent of another 12 megapixel picture's worth of sidecar data. So okay. each picture, each motion picture you shoot takes up roughly the space of two standard photos. Okay. So it's not like, six 12 megapixel pictures. It's one with some sidecar data, yeah. and that takes up roughly the space of two pictures. What did you think of the feature? It seemed kind of, it's awesome. seemed, seemed a little wonky. No, no, it's do awesome. Like it? I think some people are going to react like, why would I do that? Why can't I just take a Vine or a video uh -huh. or whatever? But for a parent, I can tell you that they, they did not demonstrate it with a kid on accident. Mm -hmm. Because no matter how much you try to get the exact expression, on your kid that you want, you never get it, right? Yeah. You always get the moment after or the moment before they do something funny. Mm. And so being able to say, tap on that picture and see those moments right before or after the picture, it's it's really cool. I mean, some of the examples that they had uh, in on the phones there were really well done too. And they kind of like open it up like, hey, you know, you're seeing this scene that's beautiful, but you also get to kind of hear the mist and you know, yeah. go in the background and stuff. I think it'll be really neat. And because it's on by default, people will get to experience it and because they had a sort of discovery mechanism built in, because when you're swiping photos, mm -hmm. it plays a really slight animation as you mm -hmm. flip from photo to photo, mm -hmm. I think that more and more people will see it and go, what's this? And then try it out and, and enjoy it. But you can always toggle it off. Yeah. So you can yeah. turn it off. Cool. I think it'll be fun for messaging. Yeah. 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 Especially it, once like external networks start supporting it. Yeah. Facebook feed, Twitter feed, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I message already well, obviously. Yeah. So it's just like a, a fun little GIF that isn't playing all the time in your in your feed. Yeah, I mean, I'll even forgive that you say GIF and not GIF. <laughs> GIF, GIF, yeah. GIF.